everyone, welcome back to my channel and a happy Cloak and Dagger Christmas if you are celebrating. I am here for the final in my mystery matchmaking series where I recommend mysteries to a booktuber who doesn't typically read a lot of mysteries and some series that I think they might enjoy based on their other reading taste. Now, before I jump into my recommendations, if you are a booktuber who would like me to recommend some mysteries for you and do a video like this, let me know down below. Um, and also, heck, if you are just a reader who wants me to recommend mysteries, um, you know, send me like your Goodreads profile or something to let me know your favorite books. And it would be really fun for me to do more of these uh, mystery matchmaking videos. I am recommending to two booktubers today uh, a lovely duo because they have very similar bookish taste. I was going to do a separate video and then when I thought about the ones I was going to recommend to them, I thought, you know what? They have such similar taste. Um, I'm just going to do both of them. And that is the lovely Gemma from Read a Book Gem um, and Emily from Nivelle Novels. So I met Emily last Victober. I found her through her channel. And then I met Gemma this Victober uh, from her channel. And they are just so passionate about the books that they read, um, love Victorian fiction, historical fiction. Gemma reads some uh, nonfiction and really interesting nonfiction. And also they both read books aloud to their kids sometimes and uh, just all around lovely, lovely ladies. Some contemporary fiction for both of them. So I have, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five mystery series to recommend to both of you, Gemma and Emily. So the first series I want to recommend to you is the Maisie Dobbs series. This is one of my absolute favorite mystery series. It is set in the interwar years when Maisie has just uh, returned from being a nurse in World War I and opens up her own private detective agency. And it's just such a really fascinating time in the world. I think that those that love historical fiction and especially it in the interwar years would thoroughly enjoy this series. Um, I like that they're great on audiobook as well. So if you want to be able to have it on while you're doing other things like cooking or cleaning, um, I think it's a great option to have. The next series is the Agatha Raisin series. If you want a bit of fun in your life, Gemma and Emily, I think you would enjoy this. Again, another fabulous series on audiobook. It is about the sardonic, sarcastic, snarky Agatha Raisin. And she retires early because she is tired of living in the city. And then she retires to the sleepy Cotswolds and ends up being bored out of her mind. So then um, there is a baking contest that she enters. This is in the very first one, Agatha Raisin and the Quiche of Death. And at the baking contest, the quiche that she enters into the contest, which she bought at a nearby bakery, ends up poisoning one of the baking contest judges and she is framed for the crime. Uh, they are fun. They are snappy. They are easy breezy reads. They're wonderful. I think you would enjoy them. The next one I want to recommend to you are the Amelia Peabody Mysteries. These are set in the Victorian era. So if you like some Victorian fiction, it can be fun to visit this era in historical fiction. And Amelia Peabody is our intrepid explorer. And she is an Egyptologist and archaeologist. And in the very first book, Sparks Fly, when she meets Emerson. And uh, they are married by the beginning of the second book. Um, so it's got wonderful dialogue. It's so fun to travel with Amelia to Egypt. And I haven't read in that series in a while, so I want to get back to it. But I think it's great historical fiction, mystery, fun. The next series I want to recommend is the Her Royal Spyness series. This is very uh, like schmoozy in society. Georgiana Rennick is of title, but has no money. And so it is about her trying to scrimp and save. But I think if you just want something, again, really fun, light, breezy, this is a great series. She is plucky and she always saves the day. And there's some really fun romance involved. And the last series I want to recommend to you is the Seven Sisters series by Lucinda Riley. This is an epic series about uh, the Diapolis family. And all six sisters are adopted. And yes, I did say six, even though the sisters, the series is called The Seven Sisters. You have only met six of the sisters. The seventh book is coming out in 2021. We're going to find out who the seventh sister is and where she's from. But anyhow, I digress. And in each book, you have a dual 
timeline narrative. So you have an uh, ancestor from the past that the sister is finding out about, and you get to see the, you know, one of the sisters in the modern day kind of grappling with some changes that have happened in her life. It's deeply personal and moving. Um, and there's also a different art form that is used in each book. So the first book is sculpting. The second book was music. And the third is going to be literature. I'm in the middle of the third book and really enjoying it. I hope that one of these recommendations at least will suit you both. And thank you everyone for watching. And like I said, if you are a booktuber or a reader and you would like me to do a mystery matchmaking video for you, I am happy to do so. And I will be back with another video soon and have a lovely day, everyone. Bye.